talking to him as your teammates um, and, and just helping him you know, keep his head his head up and his confidence going. Um, so my next player, next player type of mindset, I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really do much about the last thing that happened to you, but you can do things about what's in the, what's in the future. Just making sure that those plays don't affect the next player and, and so on and so forth. So just staying in his ear, making sure he stays, keep his head above water, and just let him know relax. You had a pretty big game against Pitt last year. Mm -hmm. did, did that serve as motivation or as a confidence builder for you throughout the offseason? Uh, I'll just say just my season last year in general, because I don't really feel like I really did much. So it, was, it served as motivation, just trying to get better at a lot of things, a lot of aspects. You know, secret, better teammate, better leader, a lot of <coughs> aspects of the game. I took the summer for that. What's the key for this offense to kind of turn the page and, and improve on the, the first two games? Just little things. Just keep the little things and making sure that we take care of those little things in practice. We gotta make sure we keep our head on straight and don't let it, don't let the, the build up for game day get, get too much to our head and let, make sure everything is precise and accurate. Aside from the fact that there was the, the hurricane that displaced a lot of people, and as bad as that is, Nathan said it did, from a purely football perspective, give you guys a chance to hit the reset button. Right. How important was that maybe just getting away and clearing minds for a couple of days before coming back out here? Uh, just letting guys take the time to get their mind right, understand their why and what they're here for, understanding that their why could be a bigger effect than what they think it is. I mean, the reason you're here could be to answer the what's going on with the team and just having guys reset and get their mind back right. It's, it's a big week, so. Did you go home this past weekend? Or did yeah, you stay I don't, I went home. Got the family. How many days were you there? Uh, two, two. How was your family affected? I know you're from the Charlotte area. Mm -hmm. That storm headed that way, obviously. Was yeah. your is your family all right? Is the home all right? Yeah, everybody's good. Everybody's good. Shout out to them. Mom and Donna. Shout out to all of them. So, yeah, everybody's good. There. Everybody's healthy. That's all I ask for. Did your teammates tell any stories about how they were affected personally by Florence? Uh, I just know some friends who stayed on the East Coast who just had a lot of a lot going on, a lot of effects over there, and I definitely kept them in my prayers, so, of course. We'll talk about a couple of 